Here's some more CNN slop that didn't bother to say how much interest we'll be paying on the loans we take out to finance this bailout. Well, Congress returned to Washington today for a lame duck session, and the number one item on the Democrats' agenda is finding money for an auto industry bailout here, but getting support for it could prove proved tough, particularly in the Senate. Originally, Democrats wanted to take $25 billion from that $700 billion financial industry rescue plan, but the White House and Senate Republicans are standing firm against that idea. A vote on the bailout is scheduled for Wednesday. Thousands of workers at the nation's second largest bank, meanwhile, well, they're getting pink slips. Citigroup is cutting 53,000 jobs worldwide in the coming months. That's in addition to the 22,000 job cuts announced in October. The New York-based bank has posted four straight quarterly losses, including a nearly $3 billion loss last quarter. Japan, the world's second largest economy, is in a recession for the second time in seven years. And experts think it could get worse because of a huge drop in demand for the electronics and cars that, of course, fuel the uh, Japanese economy. In this country, meanwhile, a survey of 50 leading economists indicates what you most likely suspect. 96% of them say the U.S. economy is indeed in a recession, and nearly 75% of the economists believe the recession will last beyond the first quarter of next year. And they followed that up with some crap about the space station. Notice the refusal to say how much money we're paying for it. It's an extreme makeover, more than 200 miles above the Earth. Take a look at these live pictures we're getting. The crew of the Space Shuttle Endeavour will begin unloading some of its cargo that it's brought up to the International Space Station. The new components will increase the station's size enough to allow an additional three crew members to live there on an extended basis. And Fox decided to get in on the space waste by making money off advertisements about looking for water on Mars. One word turn science fiction into science fact. One word turns dreams into knowledge, ideas into achievements, exploration into discovery. One word makes the difference between observation and understanding. How is the word that makes all the difference?